to do over to your commentary team. It's the former England goalkeeper, Rachel Brown Finnis, alongside Robbie <laughs> Changes from the WSL defeat to Manchester City. Laura B. Reuter replaces Noel Maritz at right back. The Valdry during that game and missed England duty. Yelena Chankovic comes in in her place to start just her fourth game at this season of trophies, including the FA Cup under Vic Akers. Our next. <laughs> Who else could it be other than Lauren James? Lauren James for Chelsea. Get her physically robust enough individualised training programme. We'll get this FA Cup tie underway at Kings Meadow. The visitors, and they take advantage. It's a deep cross in. Caitlin Ford unchallenged. And you're right, you want to say the ball. Early break. Into the penalty here with Marnham. And she's for. But sends it across to Chankovic. That's a decent looking ball. It's flicked towards goal by Ericsson, but off target. Chance for both sides now. Oh, I'm sure. Chankovic is easily defended by Blackstinius, but Cuthbert tries to keep it going. Although she just ran into a few too many blue shirts. Uh, excellent swarming from Chelsea. Harry Wrighton. Cuthbert back to goal. Finds Ingle. And now Charles. Lovely interplay. A challenge from Lauren James. Has been given as a foul after a bit of thinking time. Well, I think give the referee a due. She wanted to piece coach that's just been employed. It's causing a bit of confusion. Headed from Raffaelli. Catley is going to fall here for McCabe. Sam Kerr in the nick of. Caitlin Ford will get there, and it nearly trickled in off Blackstinius. A last gasp clearance off the line from Neve Charles, retreating in the right place at the right time to deny Arsenal. Well, at first glance, it looked a bit like a lack of communication between Van Katchenberger and Neve Charles, because Katchenberger goes down as if to receive the ball, but then it goes through her, and Neve Charles, I think, makes yeah, makes the the uh, the interception. So that it is cut. Goes long towards Ford. And Lauren James was the best option, completely unmarked. Could she have hit it first time, just stayed off a little bit, judged the bounce, gave the opportunity after having that touch, had done it. And uh, you know, the experience of both of those players. Wow, that is a golden opportunity. Great ball through. It should never have got through. Blackstenius does so well to hold off Ericsson, so strong to be able to get goal side. You know, Ericsson's been in this game for such a long time, this league, to shoulder her off. You don't see too often. I mean, it's rude. Lauren James starts one of her glides into Ingle. 1 0 Chelsea. Sophie Ingle with the composure of a regular goal scorer. And the FA Cup holders have the lead. Well, it's 30 seconds earlier, Arsenal could have been 1 0 up. And there it is. That's oh, right. It's 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 right. If they cut. Captain with the outswinger once again. Berger came a long way. Back in by McCabe. And Sam Kerr with a, a practice swing. Little. Williamson has stayed up there. Challenge is bright. Right in. First time on to Charles. In behind the defence. Made by Williamson. Chance of silverware slightened for one of these. Stinius. She's through here. Angle's a bit tight. She's got Marnham up ahead. It's Marnham! Another chance passed up. Wow, that was close, wasn't it? You could see the option was on. A lovely ball, 3 1. Caitlin Ford looks up. She sees that Stinius had got away, peeled off that left hand side, and it exposes centrally. 
no player can get back. Oh, and it's just a toenail away, isn't it, from Marden? Just a bit too much weight on the ball. Marden slides a tall frame, just cannot get on the end of it. Charles finds Kurt. Difficult one to control. Didn't want to. Catley. Okay, manages to dig it out from the byline away by. from Zinsberger to deny Chankovic. Chelsea this time. Neve Charles had a hold of her shirt. Play goes on. It's McCabe away by Berger and over the top from Caitlin Ford. Nodded away by Ericsson. Frantic end to this first half. Catley trying to keep things going. Barnum floats it in. Right to their first. Stage. This is the fifth round. Ford. Cade. Not quite getting on the end of that one. Just like they did in the first half in the opening minute. They had a shot on goal, didn't they? That was uh... Marden. On to McKay. Here's Baxtinius. The flag has gone up, I think. Arsenal finding space a little bit further up the pitch. Ford. Calls it. James wins it back. It's a good ball to Chankovic. Here's Sam Kerr. Never in doubt. She's barely had a sniff at goal. She is deadly. And she has put Chelsea two goals up here. Marks her 100th appearance for Chelsea, the only way she knows how, with yet another goal. And that's the difference, isn't it? Chelsea have an out and out goal scorer, one who's confident, who just needs that one touch, who has the poise and the presence and the calmness in that six yard area where you've got a second to think, to compose yourself. She sees the goalkeeper going down, she lifts it over. As you said, Robin, it was never in doubt when Sam Kerr was the end on the end of a beautiful good work from Ford once again surging into the area it's Caitlin Ford and somehow Chelsea survived that flag is up they just can't catch a break Arsenal just wouldn't bounce for them what a brilliant run from Caitlin Ford terrorizing the defender Perisade on this left hand side cuts in to a point and Here comes the corner Raffaelli Makes good contact. And what? Her receives over the top. The flag is up. Yeah, just marginal. That will lift their confidence. Great run by Raffaele. Pelova. Wienreuter. Good build up. Strike. Just didn't have the quality to test Berger. Marnum. Now in really bright. Giving her an inch. Marnum with another long ranger. Slips it through for Pelova. Ford. Another effort, but another pretty tame one. 